Okay. So. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're taking a baby wipe that has no uh, scent reading in it, and we're actually running some warm water through it to make sure we get most of the water out. And now we're going to wipe his face. When we wipe his face, he's going to probably just jerk a little bit because of the wetness. But as you see, he doesn't mind. We'll start taking off some of this tearage, which once the uh, tears hit the oxygen, it turns like a burgundy or reddish color, maybe a rust color. We just gently go across his eye. He likes it. It feels good. Except when you drop the comb, that causes him to step back. <laughs> Which I would do too. Hi everyone, this is Percy. He is a silver shaded Persian. And he's about a year and a half old. And he's a really good boy and he's really cool. So we're going to clean his face. Take a baby wipe, which I've dumped, I dunked into the water and made sure that it's clean. And then we just run it across his each eye gently. He's used to it. The reason why he jerks back a little is because it's, it's cold. And of course, it's, he's not used to feeling it. Do it like that. And then we take it over here to the other side. Over here, Baba. Over here, this side. Okay, and after that, right here, it's called the gutter. On each side of his nose, the tears run down. And we're going to clean those gently out. I take my finger like that. I just gently rub to get the main body out. We get most of it. We'll have to do more work on that later. Just you know, slowly taking and getting it out. It normally isn't red. It's when it hits the oxygen on either this side. You got to do this once a day. You should do it once a day. You see the redness. And we get that nice and moist before we start doing the, the, the main cleaning. Okay, he likes it. He, he enjoys it. Okay, next we're going to take the Q-tips and we're going to again clean in the gutter. I'm going to get it wet here, which is just water. We hopefully you can get it like uh, warm enough to where it doesn't, uh, you know, kind of shock the system because it's so cold and now we're just going to start cleaning here you got to start this with your uh, cat at a very young age for him to behave like this kitty does uh, imagine not being able to get to an itch on your face and I come along with my little trusty q-tip and it feels good but as you can see, I can just clean and clean his face, slowly but surely. Let's start taking that stuff off there. Just like little pieces and things. I just go a little bit against the grain there. Come back down normally, back up and down this gutter. These are called gutters here. My hand, I keep it underneath like this, or my thumb like this. I'm not hurting him, it's just to support his head so he can relax and enjoy his facial. You know, if I let go, he's not going anywhere. He likes it. You see these get gummed up pretty good. We're going to have to do, probably I'll have to use like five or six of these. So as you can see, all this in here is a waxy buildup. And he's very good at letting me do this. I'm very careful not to uh, you know, put my Q-tip into his eye. He trusts me. So I go against the grain, crossed, and I go back and kind of speed it back down. It's a real waxy substance. It's hard to get out of there. And I don't like using any kind of you know, real chemical or anything close to his eyes. There's some cleaners you can get that will help, you know, do this, but if you're gentle, you just keep working all the way under here like this and get everything out, which is plain water. You know, warm water, not hot. You can see he's, uh, he's quite happy, content, feels good. He'll even fall asleep. It's amazing sometimes. 
Okay, next. Okay, next I'm going to use a little makeup brush. It has these little ridges that kind of grab stuff. This is dry. Excuse me, dry. So I'm kind of like combing down here. And hopefully pull out anything else. These little pieces in there. I'll go back and forth across. I can even go up. Down. See like a seesaw action there. I always finish with going with the grain and it takes out the rest of the, you know, whatever's still in there that I can get to. It's just little bits, but you can see it looks a lot better now. And you're still enjoying it. I don't really go across the eye with this, like this. I don't want to get those little things accidentally in his eye and have it hurt. Okay. Okay. And these are uh, a rubber material. You can get them at the dollar store. I get them uh, you know, maybe like once a week and you're able to use them a few times. Let's see there, see? Is they good or what? They get a little film that goes across there, uh, right where the hairline stops. This works good at getting that out of there. So I'm trying to work that around. Stir his hair up a little bit. Take out the pieces that come out of it. Let's see now. now this is a simple comb that I use to comb the cat with. Wooden handle, it's made for long, longer hair, long fur. And I also use this, believe it or not, to clean out his nose, his nostrils. This stuff runs down, goes into his nostril. He's perfectly comfortable with me working on getting that stuff out of there. As long as I'm gentle. Don't let me go right in there and get that black stuff. There's a little bit of black stuff in there. Kind of hard to see. It's like a hard crusty stuff. And I'm digging it out of there. And it makes me feel a lot better and it helps them to breathe better. You have to start with your cat at a very young age. You know, as soon as you can, start combing and brushing and taking care of him, but he'll allow you to do these kind of things. If for some reason I was to catch him, you know, with the corner of this on his nose or something, and it hurt, I would immediately stop, pick him up, hold him, let him know that it wasn't done on purpose, and Start again the next day. I wouldn't go back to it the same day. I'd go wait. I'd wait in, you know, maybe to the next day and try it again, get real gentle. You start down here when they're kittens. You can slowly work your way up. Okay, he's used to it. And this this is good for digging in and finding spots that maybe you missed. You can also use it. You know, I'm showing you one side clean. Again, I'm cleaning, and the other side still dirty. And even up here, like by the eye, this area here. I can get this right into here like that. Get it right out of there, okay? So, he's used to it. I do it quite a bit. And then we end up, the last thing we do again is we use baby wipe. This is one I was using before. Make sure that it's clean. Make sure it's not a lot of water in it. And again, I'm just going to run it across this eye even. At first, it's going to be kind of, might pull back because it's cold. But he really does like it because he's getting his face cleaned. And clean. And this side's dirty. You see the difference. Same with up here around the eye. You can slowly just keep going across. Remember, his eyeball is here and here. So you don't want to push on the eye itself like hard like that. Even down here is eyeball and eyeball. 
I run just flat across. And as you can see, he likes it. Okay, and that's what we do. Thank you for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. We'll have a new one out for you next week. Right, Percy? Right? Yeah.